So welcome back to the Load Coding. In today's video, we're going to work with a React image lazy loading. And so this is a build a little application that this application is make request to the Unflask API for city image. But for initial load, we're not going to load all the city image at one time. So we just load a couple of image as you can see right here that the user need to see right now. So and then when we scroll down, we're going to get more image from a more image so by doing this we're gonna save a lot of HTTP requests so yeah so when you scroll down there's some uh, placeholder and then before the image loaded so all right so let's get started all right so here I'm using VS Code so you can use any tech that you want so I'm using create react apps for this project and so the first thing first that you need to do is to uh, install this dependency I list the in the description so the first one is react lazy load image and the second is the AUXIS for this uh, for this one is allowed to make HTTP requests to our Unflat API. So if you haven't, um, if you want to uh, make requests to Unflat API, so you can go into documentation, create application, and again you can get the access key right here, which we can make requests to the Unflat API. So right here. So I'm gonna this one. So I'm get a random image uh, for thirty. So for thirty image. All right, so there are three steps that we're going to do. The first one we're going to fetch from the Unflask API, and then we're going to display all those images, and then we're going to do uh, lazy loadings. All right, so this is a plain uh, empty React project, so I'm going to run uh, yarn start, so you can run npm if you use npm. And all right, so I'm going to work. So then I'm going to clean this one. For, the sim for simplicity, I'm just working with the only app.js right here so we are going to the fetch from the image from uh, unflash so the first thing i'm gonna cut, uh, cut this one and let's say the url is going to be equal to this one and then we're gonna do use effects so this use effect is run after our component is got built and then we're gonna run this one so we use effects and then so when this one we're gonna call get image get images and then we're gonna create a function called get images and then we're gonna import axios from get the url dot then then we're gonna get a rest right here and yeah so we can console the lock the rest right here so you can see right now if we go into app there's nothing in here I think I should display something let's say h1 hello world and if you go into the this one we have an object that have data you can see we have city image we have an ID of this one and yeah so we it's a lot right here so so then we're gonna store all the data into our state. So for that, I'm going to create a state. So let's see, I'm gonna create cons images set images equal to use state. So I'm gonna set the empty right here. So when and then after that, we're gonna set images with the rest of data. So this is where we'll get all the set the image into our images so yeah i think that's pretty much it on how to get this image from the unflash api so i'm gonna take this one and next is we're gonna render all of this image so for that we go in here the first thing first that we need to do is we check if images so if if there's not images we're gonna do some loading so let's say um, returns h1 loading so we make some time to request to API so and then so we need to be we need to do loading and then after that we're going to loop the images dot map and right now we have some we have an image so I'm doing map right here uh, image and then uh, what I can do is to return let's say an h1 first Hello world. So you can see we have like 30 images, right? <laughs> 30 images, so we're gonna have 30 hello. 
now we're gonna replace this one with uh, our images so image not images uh, IMG right here and then SOC and the source from this one if we're going back to the API we can see that we have the URL right here we have full there is a really big image but we're not going to do with this one I'm going to go with Dracula for this one so we're gonna have images dot urls dot regular regular and lt this one is going to be uh we can have the description all description right here as well so what we can do we can have the image dot this one and we're gonna have a key key equal to image dot id voila so now if we go back we can see that we have all our image right here all the 30 image but the problem is this one as you go into network right here you can see that we download all of the 30 image all at once so this is even though if I'm not scrolling down let's say I'm, not, I'm gonna fresh again so you can see all the 30 image has been request download but some image we're not going to visit but why we need to download it right so that's why we need to implement the lazy loading to save all this downloading to our application all right so for that it's really simple if you go into the react lazy load uh, lazy image load component right here so yeah so the first thing that you need to do is to in, uh, import this one this too so for that I'm going to import this to in our, uh, our project so then we're gonna replace the image right here with the uh, our lazy load image and also we can use effects so to blur up this one to blur I think it's blur and one thing I wanted to do is I want to change the high and width of this one as well so I'm gonna say 500 500 pixels uh, width only equal to 400 pixels yeah so now we go back and we can see it's already implemented like this one so you can see right that we load only this six image right here so we not if we I scroll down as we can get more of this image so yeah I think that's pretty good so we not as you can see on the left right here we do not load all of the image right here we we just load all the image that the users need to see right now and when I scroll down as we can um, load more so this is going to save us a lot of um, HTTP requests this is on the mobile so you can see it's only uh, download only two even though we have 30 image in our project but it download two of the image and then when I scroll down it's get more and then get more so yeah I think that's pretty good so the, the cup the, the next thing is you can do is you can do with the placeholder so let's say a placeholder source right here so this one is going to if the image is downloaded is not ready yet so we can show this image so we can do let's say the process that env I'm gonna use the react logo for this one so let's see slash logo dot uh, 192 I guess so we go into public and then we can see yeah 192 png that png so yeah so you can see that we have to blow up this one so first it's going if the download is not complete yet we're gonna show that as a placeholder and yeah so you can see it's pending right here so I mean like we not downloaded yet so we're gonna show the that one so you can see when you scroll down it get more all right so I think yeah that's pretty much it for this video I think it's just quick tutorial on how to do that and there's a lot of things that you can do you can check out more on this documentation on how to do that so yeah if you have any question or any suggestions for, for the next video you can leave the link in the description <laughs> not description in the comment <laughs> so i hope you learned something from this video all right see you guys in the next video peace